What's up, y'all? It's your man, Bobby Wash, producer, singer, songwriter, filmmaker. This is my Bobby Wash and Vlog channel, um, my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, click the notification bell, and leave a comment. I'm going to make a quick video to show you how to make a um, NTFS format, which is um, a format for a hard drive that you can actually use for a DCP, um, which is a digital cinema package. Um, something that you can use to play your film, indie film, or, or feature film, or short film um, in a cinema, in a theater, on their projector so they can ingest the file into it. So there's a certain way to do that. You need these two programs. One is called DCP-O-Matic, um, and it's free. If you go to Google, type in DCP-O-Matic, and then you want the NTFS for Mac from Paragon, P-A-R-A-G-O-N, P-A-R-A-G-O-N. I'll put the links below. Um, but yeah, so first thing you want to do is download those two softwares. Um, you can get a trial for the Paragon for 10 days. Um, if you like it, you can keep it after that. But you want to first um, run both softwares, install them completely. Um, and then you want to make sure that um, you have the NTFS um, software loaded. Um, that way you can actually right to it on your Mac because most Macs can't record to NTFS um, they only record to XFAT and Mac Journal but with this software NTFS to Mac it lets it read um, pretty much a PC drive and in return you'll be able to put your movie if it, even if it's a Linux format it'll play NTFS alright so let's go let's do it so open up the DCP software first alright Let's do that first. DCP Omatic. All right, here's the software. Then you want to first open up a new. Then you want to save it to that NT NTCFS uh, drive. So you want to find it over here, which is right here. Open it. Boom. Then I want to name the file. I'm gonna just name this um, Seven Roses Test. This is my new film. It's not complete yet, but we're going to use just one clip from it. And you want to um, simply uh, add a file here. Add a file, which would be a movie file that you rendered from um, Premiere Pro or DaVinci or whatever you use. And you bring it in here. Once you bring it in here, you come down to the bottom. Um, you don't touch anything on this front page. On the content, you have content, you have DCP here content DCP so on the content you don't mess it with anything there DCP you want to make sure that this says simply standard simply and not enter uh, Rob keep that right there don't touch anything there on um, resolution um, I shot this in 4k but I'm gonna down res this to 2k so it don't be as long because the file my file I did, I did 4k which was like uh, 12 bit so it's like over 500 gigabytes. And I don't want to make it smaller. 2K will be just fine for this. Frame rate will be 24. I'm not touching that. And then we'll go back to uh, content and go over to audio. Um, you want to make sure that the levels aren't like peaking throughout the whole film. And it's going to give you like a graph of the whole film really quick. Let's see that. Okay. Let's see. Um, Yep, and it's analyzing the first right there. Boom. As you can see, I'm in red. I'm too high, 0.59 uh, across the whole film. Um, so let me go ahead and see the gain right here, this little gain. You want to start knocking it down one by one until these two here start turning black. That means they're safe. So let's get that right there. So I had to bring it down negative four to make sure that was safe. Okay, so now that that's safe, that's fine. Um, and now we can actually begin um, our DCP render. So what you want to do is um, it's going to be named this. Use ID, keep everything here the same, and just go to uh, Jobs and press Make DCP. Boom. Once you do that, um, you're going to read this. Um, just press make DCP once again once you do that it's going to start making the DCP and this is the file that you're going to just take and connect to um, the projector you're going to take the whole hard drive that you're burning this to and just connect it to the person's um, projector in the theater and they'll be able to ingest your film so I hope this video was a help to you 
Um, it's going to keep going. Got two minutes remaining, but once it's done, it's going to be on this hard drive here, which is my DCP hard drive right here with Seven Roses, and it's going to be right in here. So it's making all the files necessary to play. Okay. All right. So I hope that was um, good for you guys. And um, hey, that's what it is. I believe um, the Seven Roses test name. Yeah, that's the folder. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so it's going to be inside of a folder. That's fine. All right. If worse comes to worse, you may have to take these files out of here and put them on the root of the, of the thing, but I doubt it. Just keep it there for now and just try to ingest it at the theater. All right. Peace and blessings. Please subscribe.